Hey you guys, today I'm going to talk about this cool morph effect and how you can achieve it in Adobe After Effects with two still images and the time warp effect. So to get started, we're going to go ahead and make a new composition at 1200 by 1200. You can change the resolution a little bit. I'm just going to keep mine square and fairly big. 30 frames per second. Again, you guys can use something different. 15, 60, 120, it will change a little bit the effect, but I'll let you know the differences in just a second. We're gonna make that two frames to start for our comp one. Go ahead and throw both of your images in there. For me personally, I've been using faces and matching the eyes, filling the frame, and it's been looking pretty good. So I'm just going to do that right now, show you guys how that looks and how that's done. Something like that should do nicely, I'm going to lower it a little bit, just kind of get their nose, maybe even make it a little bigger. Okay. Now we're going to make one image, one frame, and one image, the other. We're going to go ahead and make that a pre-composition, pre-comp one, move all your attributes. Control Alt T will add a time remap. Go up to composition and change this composition setting to the duration of your transition. Mine's going to be three seconds. Scroll out on your timeline, drag out that pre-comp, and find a time warp. Add it to your pre-comp. Now this is where the time is going to come into effect. So already we can see this effect doesn't last the whole three seconds. What we're going to need to do is drop it down until it does. Okay, we can see at 2 we're getting pretty close. I know for a fact that it is 1.13 for 30 frames at 3 seconds. If you guys are doing 60 frames at 3 seconds, you're going to need to make that twice as slow or half as fast would be a better way to put that. So we're gonna, we would need to drop that in half. If you're doing 15 frames at three seconds, you're gonna make, need to double that speed. Okay, so now that you know the basis of the math involved in that, uh, you should be able to get pretty close for your projects. If you're doing one and a half seconds at 30 frames, it's going to be twice as fast of a transition, so you would double that number. Now, I don't really like this really glitchy effect. You guys might. And for certain images, it might turn out a lot better. So you are free to use just that right there. But what I'm going to do is make that really smooth. Leave the vector detail, leave the smoothing iterations. And I'm just going to change this error threshold until the eyes sync up pretty good about halfway through. And already we're looking at a pretty good effect. The other really important uh, values here are going to be your weights. Okay, I like to start with mine all the way down. And just changing one at a time will kind of show you which one you're looking for. And if you can achieve the effect with just one, it's gonna be a lot simpler than having to alter these because once you start adding them in, you can really just play with it for hours. I already really like this effect and that really shows off the simplicity of the time warp for this transition instead of having to do like a liquify or uh, some of the other techniques people have done for morphing. Link your projects in the comments below 
so I can take a look at them and everyone else can too. We can all get motivated here to make some pretty cool Instagram videos or whatever you want to make. Thanks for watching guys and see you later.